Okay guys, so this is a day in my life as a YouTuber and a runner living in Los Angeles. But the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I wanted to share the habits and routines and the lifestyle that I've built for myself to get myself out of creative slumps, personal slumps, all those things that were happening at the start of the year. And so I kind of just wanted to take you guys more intimately into this world that is my life. Hopefully I can give you a couple good habits that'll help you be a more productive, more amazing human, but I'm sure you guys are all really amazing. So let's get started with the day in the life. So each day starts out with a 37 mile run, and then I move on to nine hours of concentrated computer work, followed by rushing to meetings on my electric bike. <laughs> that's, that's not actually what I do. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like every day in the life is just this weird fabricated day that's so I kind of wanted to make a fabricated version that is genuine, but it's fabricated because I'm not like, I'm not like acting like it's one day. Okay, so this is how a majority of my days start out. So majority of my days start out with three main habits. Manifestation, meditation, and logistics. Let me break these down a bit. So basically, this is my manifestation sheet. <laughs> People will say whatever they want about manifestation, and uh, fair. Like when I was 16, I probably would have thought this was crazy-ish. But really, it's like goal setting at its purest form and just reminding yourself of your goals. And they just call it manifestation because they need some cooler name to have. <laughs> but basically, I wrote these things for my life that I think are really important. There are things I wanna achieve, things I want to stay true to, things that I want, things I want. <laughs> I'll read them. This is like cheesy and weird and just too much. I don't know, maybe I'll blur this out. Maybe I'll cut this, I don't know. Stick to the vision, Zachary. It's a little cheesy. It's a little bit weird, but it's something that I recite to myself and remind myself what I need to do. Since I'm trying to make this as real as possible, my ADHD brain in the middle of all my important things says, let's go for a joyride. And I pretty much do this every day. I it up with some fun though, and pack it in a hope that there's no run off. But I'm not worried cause I just got some more runs love, and I've been feeding off the gas. So beautiful. I mean, it's like crazy out there. So the next on the list is meditation. I've been using meditation a lot recently. I think for a while when I was kind of stuck and you know, kind of this weird place, I was a little dissociated from who I am. And that just means that like, I wasn't as present as I wanted to be with the people around me. And I just didn't feel like I was acting on my intuition as much. It wasn't as clear. And so I use open. I'm gonna do a class with Minoj. Ready, set. Okay, let's get to the final little habit, logistics. So I do a lot of brainstorming and a lot of that starts with my laptop and I just scroll through YouTube and gotta just watch people that I enjoy's videos and it's, it's that simple, I just watch YouTube. <laughs> no, but actually like I love getting inspiration from the people that I follow. So I'm subscribed to a ton of people that I love and basically I'll just watch YouTube in the morning and I take notes in this notebook and it all just starts here. So basically I just take care of the little things that take a lot of energy like brainstorming and email before I get to the real work. And this is when I just sit down at my desk and type away at my keyboard and get work done for like two to five to 10 hours. But today's pretty simple because I just need to make the thumbnail for this video and start editing this video. But after this, we're gonna head to one of my favorite spots to run and we're gonna go for an epic cinematic run thing. And so I'm pretty excited to show you guys that. But first, let's get our work out of the way. Instead of me boring you by typing away on my computer all day, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Asus and their new VivoBook 14. If you're in the market for a new laptop, listen closely because this is, this is gonna be pretty important. Asus has designed this laptop to be the perfect balance of performance and price. As you can see, it's incredibly thin, 
super light, made from high quality aluminum with a diamond cut edge, backlit keyboard, fingerprint scanner, number pad on the trackpad, pretty much every single cool feature you could ever imagine. This VivoBook has a 90% screen to body ratio, which is clearly incredibly beautiful. I can do all my video editing, all my photo editing, all my photo shopping, literally everything you could imagine I do on this computer and it keeps up. Since Intel, who makes all the computer chips, owns Asus, they're able to put their newest and most amazing platforms, like the Intel Evo platform, into this computer and offer it at a price that can't be bought anywhere else. The perfect balance of quality, speed, battery life, screen resolution, gadgets, and features. So be sure to go check out the link in the description to find out more about the Asus VivoBook S14, S435. The PCs with the Intel Evo badge are verified as a great, powerful laptop. So finding a new class of PCs is as simple as looking for the Intel Evo badge. Genuinely, this is an incredible laptop and I can't recommend it more. So go, go check that out. Just finished up about two hours of computer work, so it's time now to get our run in for the day. I've got a little bit of news about some running stuff that I'm doing that I'll tell you at the end of the video, but I'm gonna take you to one of my favorite places to run, which is Topanga. I don't always go there to run, usually I just run around here. Okay, see you in Topanga. So incredibly beautiful, we are here, and uh, it's time to get the run in. Turned into a bit of a hike here. Super steep. Let's keep going. Run complete, it was beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed the cinematics I got. The craziest part about living in LA to me is that I can drive 30 minutes and get this, which is just so far from what I've ever seen in my life. And so it's this like special thing where I just have this oasis hanging outside of this giant city that I live in. And it's just so special to see. So after the run, I ended up heading to my friend Ferris's house and he ended up making me some food. But this is like a really important part of my day. And this sounds kind of weird, but like having that work-life balance has been really important for making LA feel like home. And before I had this community and this group of people, I didn't really love LA as much as I thought I did. But the more that I grow my network of friends and neighbors and people that I can rely on and that I really enjoy spending time with. I've come to love this city more and more every single day. And I think this message resonates for those going to college or those moving to a new city. Like it's kind of hard at times. Um, but the special part is the more you grow and reach out and make friends, the more homey and the more like your heart is there. And also one last small update before I go, I will be running a marathon possibly in Chicago, possibly in like 14 weeks. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Go check out the link in the description. And as usual, guys, live happy, be healthy. I'll see you later.